Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D. Um, today we're going to be creating a VR exercise squatting game. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you updated with this tutorial. And this is part one of six. So we're in our epic launcher. Let's launch and let's give it a sec. And from here, I'm going to click new project. Let's go virtual reality and we will rename this to I work out. There we go. Create project. And so now our project's been created. Let's go into content, virtual reality, maps, map controller, map, motion controller map, sorry. So first things first, I don't want any teleportation. So let's select our VR pawn and edit motion controller. From here, we'll bring it up the top here and let's find our inputs. Handle controller input, input action, grab left, grab right, teleport left, teleport right. Let's right click on those arrows and break link to branch, break link to branch, break link to branch. So now we can no longer teleport. Excellent. From here, I'm going to set up three random points on the ground. Uh, so I'm going to type in target point and let's grab this one and move one here and move one here. From here, let's grab all three of these and we will Go up to the top, blueprints, convert selected components to blueprint class, bam. And we'll just put this in blueprint and we'll call this um, BP underscore random um, spawner, create blueprint. So now we've got three random points, sync components, cool. Um, what we might do is just for funsies for now, I'm going to select these and not do anything. Let's go add a cube and I'm going to put it in that spot. Let's select this one, add in another cube. Uh-huh. And let's add in another cube. So now we should have three cubes. That's a little bit weird. So let's go. So we've got these two here and should be in the middle, I guess. That's zero, zero. This is, ah, oh, sorry. That's Y90. Over here is where I'm looking at. For some reason, that's should be probably zero. And we will make this X zero. Minus 20, let's make it zero, so it's in the middle. And then I'm going to say this is minus 90. So we've got minus 90, zero, and 90. I want to make these hidden in game. And the reason why I've just put these is just so I can um, see the three points. Don't really need to be there, but it's just for my peace of mind. So from here, let's go to the event graph and I'm going to delete those three and on event begin play. I'm going to grab these three points, click and drag them in here. What I want to do is I want a cube or the pickup cube to spawn at one of these places randomly, randomly as soon as the game starts. So from here, we're gonna go make array and I'm gonna add the pin twice. So now I've got three pins. From here, I wanna get this array. So let's go get a, get a copy. And so now we've got our array here and we've got this integer, which will determine the place in the array. Now I want to get a random value here. So let's go random integer in range. So the minimum zero and the maximum will obviously be le two. What do I want to get out of this? I want to get, get uh, transformation. Whoops. Get world transformation. And now that I've got a value for the world transformation, I want to, will this let me spawn actor from class? There we go. So let's now bring this over. And our class, if we come back into the motion controller, I want to spawn one of these cubes, which is called BP underscore pickup cube. So let's come in over to here, BP underscore pickup cube. And so now if I go compile 
and let's come over to here we've got our cubes which are hidden in game, but they're still visible at the moment, just as a point of reference. We should just probably make a life a little bit easier. Let's just scale these. Let's lock the scale and let's just go um, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 0.1 compile. And so if I go, rather than pressing play now, I go uh, simulate. There we go. There's our cube. Stop. Cube, there you go, random point. Are you going to pick anything different? I'm going to click on this blueprint and I'm just going to push this up. There we go. And we're either really unlucky and all those spawned randomly on this one on the right. But let's try again. Simulate. Stop, play, stop, play. There we go. All right, we've got something different. And so we see we've randomized the spawn point of this.